climate change and agriculture are inextricably linked. On one hand, climate change threatens agriculture, food security and the livelihoods of those who depend on it. But at the same time, it is estimated that our food systems could be responsible for a third of global greenhouse gas emissions. Established under the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change in 2017, Coronivia Joint Work on Agriculture officially acknowledges the unique role that agriculture can play in tackling climate change. This work has brought UNFCCC parties from around the world together to discuss a number of areas related to agriculture, climate change and food security. As we approach the end of the Coronivia Roadmap, a report on the outcomes of this work is due to be presented at the United Nations Climate Change Conference. Although it is difficult to predict the outcomes of Coronivia discussions, it is possible to identify five categories that could offer various combinations or pathways for action. Parties could identify technical priorities of work where there is consensus, or they could determine institutional modalities for their implementation under the Convention. They could extend the roadmap to discuss present or new topics, recognize the work performed so far, or Coronivia joint work on agriculture could remain dormant with no agreement reached. Not all these possibilities demonstrate the same level of ambition or effort. Coronivia will only be a true success once all these dimensions are addressed and concrete action is taken. Achieving a more sustainable, resilient and food-secure agriculture in the face of a worsening climate crisis will take time. However, the end of the Coronivia Roadmap provides a unique opportunity to take an important step towards meaningful change.